Hello, I'm Jaden, National Account Executive for Dwyer's Test Equipment Portfolio, and welcome to this video highlighting the Smart AirHood application software and how to use it for the best performance. Today, we'll be reviewing connecting and zeroing your hood, selecting accuracy in diffusers, logging data points, and changing measurement preferences. First, turn on your SAH and open up the Smart AirHood application on the handheld device. Click on Connect a Hood in the app and select the name of your hood on the screen, which is SAH followed by the serial number on the sensor of your hood. The handheld will then connect to your hood. After connecting for the first time, the application software will remember the name and automatically try to reconnect with your hood. This makes it easier when starting a new job or reconnecting if your hood ever loses connection to the app. Next, close out of the connecting screen by clicking the X to return to the main reading screen. It's important to zero your hood in order to ensure accurate measurements. We recommend you zero your hood before you start balancing for the day, as well as when switching between ceiling and sidewall air measurements. To zero for ceiling diffuser readings, place your hood on the ground so all four pitot rays are making contact with the floor. Place the foam insert from the carrying case or another flat object over the top of the hood to restrict airflow from entering the hood. For sidewall readings, place your hood directly against a wall, ensuring no flow is entering the top of the hood. Once your hood is in the correct orientation for the readings you'll be taking, press the zero icon at the top of the screen in the app. When you switch between different orientations, the hood will need to be zeroed again. The Smart Air Hood app has three main options for accuracy with diffuser selection. High accuracy, standard, or manual. Our high accuracy option is rated to plus or minus 3% of reading, making the Smart Air Hood one of the most accurate airflow hoods in the market. This level of accuracy is attained because Dwyer has calibrated each Smart Air Hood to match the profile of individual diffuser styles. Simply look for the picture or name of the diffuser style you are measuring and select that option to measure airflow of that diffuser style. You can also search with our text bar at the top of the screen. We've also added a standard option where you will find three selections, Supply, Return, and Slot. When you choose the standard option, these measurements will represent the accuracy of a traditional hood. This can be used for effortless, easy balancing without frequent changes of diffuser options while still maintaining an industry standard accuracy. We've included the 14 most common diffuser styles our users have experienced in the field and combined them in the Supply option. These include 4-Way, Plaque, and several others. The slot option should be used when there is a slot or a linear in a branch. This should be selected when you are balancing with any of our skirt adapters, such as our 1x4, 1x5, or 2x4. Select the return option whenever you are reading exhaust measurements. There is no need to add or take away any other equipment within the hood. When using manual mode, you'll be able to enter specific values. This is useful if there is an uncommon style diffuser that you have a correction factor for. Now we'll demonstrate how to log readings in the Smart Air Hood app. When on the main screen, select Log This Reading when you want to save or note your current flow reading. Take note that the Log tab in the bottom right corner now has a log counter that says 1 and a total CFM calculation. As we add more readings, the tally and total CFM numbers will increase accordingly. Pressing on this tab opens a full list of the log data. This list will not only display the flow reading that was saved, but also a picture and name for the diffuser the reading was taken from. You can rename them, delete them individually, or clear all. If you'd like to save these logs for a tab report, press the export button at the bottom of the screen. This gives you options to save the file to your device, email a CSV file, or import to a tab reporting software at a later time. To change your measurement preferences, return to the main screen and click the menu in the top left corner, then tap on preferences. From the screen, you can change the units of measurement you'd like to read in with options like cubic feet per minute, or cubic meters per second. To learn more or order any Dwyer product, please visit our website. 
Thanks for watching.